Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Um, so guys, I want to talk about a video with Salman. Uh, Salman, last week we had Alexander Usyk uh, beat Anthony Joshua uh, in a very, very clinical performance. You know, some people saying he's a magician. He can't be beat. He's the best in the world. Um, pound for pound, Ring Magazine are putting pound for pound number one. Do you think that's a fair decision? Yeah, I think it's fair to be honest. Um, he's beaten all the champions at Cruiserweight in their backyards. Um, he beat Joshua first time at Tottenham and then he fought at a neutral venue and beat Joshua again. So to be honest, I think that's fair. Um, there's some probably, you know, it's not really in my opinion, I don't think that's debatable to be honest um, about Alexander Usyk. I think so, he's deservedly number one pound. Uh, yeah, pound. number one for sure. Because you got to realize this guy, he's a cruiserweight and he's come up to heavyweight and he's become unified champion. And now, no matter what people think that, oh no, uh, you know, uh, uh, Usyk was all wrong for Joshua. It's irrelevant. At the end of the day, he's still unified. So, Salman, some people are saying that Alexander Usyk is the best fighter since Floyd Mayweather. They're saying he's he's a magician inside that ring. He's a master. Um, you know, if he beats Tyson Fury, so man, can you can we say that in the last thirty years he might be in the top five best fighters that we've seen in the last thirty years? Oh, I've I've already said it. I think if he beats Tyson Fury, he's one he, of the greatest fighters of all time. Yeah, you would have to say that. Um, you'd have to say he's probably the greatest heavyweight of all time. Do you reckon? Um, that, if, yeah. if if he beats Tyson Fury, right? The thing is, the reason why I'm saying that is because there's so many disadvantages in that fight that Usyk has. That very good for, point. For, very for good example, point. like the advantages he may have had against Joshua, he's not going to have any of those advantages. But do you think Fury. the greatest heavyweight of all time? That's a big. That's a big. I would say because you've got to realize that he's coming up and he's coming up from cruiserweight. He's small at the weight. If he beats Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's not a midget or you someone his height. This is a guy that's you know three inches taller than Joshua. 25 pounds heavier than Joshua, knows how to use his weight, doesn't have stamina issues. If he beats Tyson Fury, he's got to be, well, he either has to be the greatest or one of the greatest of all time. Um, if you don't want to call him greatest, obviously, then yeah, but you've got to say that. But, you, but, you, but would you say he's not just one of the greatest heavyweights, but one of yeah, the greatest fighters, to, one yeah, of the greatest yeah, fighters? You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to put him up there if he beats Tyson Fury. If he beats Tyson Fury, I don't think people realise how hard that of how hard of a fight that's going to be to win. People just think that, you know, it's, it, you know, styles make fights and, you know, the disadvantages Joshua had, Fury's going to not have those. Uh, he's not going to be able to have that success in that sort of way. You know, the punches, are, you know, Fury's not going to, you know, take a backward step. You know, he's not, I, I personally don't, I don't think he'll beat Fury, but if he beats Fury, I'm sorry, but this guy is the best heavyweight. One of the best heavyweights ever, in my opinion, if he beats Fury. I think saying one of the best heavyweights, you, you probably can, but I, I don't I don't necessarily think one of the best heavyweights. I mean, I would say he's one of the best fighters of all time. So, like, what I mean by that is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could easily say he's one of the best fighters of all. There's no doubt, like, if a guy's cleaned out cruiserweight and then he's beaten two good prime, bigger, I mean, heavyweights in their prime. No, I no, mean, there's no doubt about it. If he beats Tyson Fury... You know that 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 that's his that's it. His legacy cemented. He's the best heavyweight of his era. Would you say he's the best fighter of this era if he beats Tyson Fury? No, I would say Floyd Mayweather is the best fighter of this era. No, no, I'm saying like Floyd Mayweather is not from this era. Yeah, I but, mean, well, I'm right uh, now that actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For would sure. he would he be the best of this era? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I I would say so. But Salman, there is a case. That if Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury, that you, we can even say he's greater than Floyd Mayweather. I'll tell you why. Firstly, like you said, I think you made a good point that the disadvantages this guy would have against guys. I mean, we're talking about a guy that's fighting guys that are three, four inches bigger than him. 30 pounds heavier than him. Like Fury is probably six inches taller than him. Yeah. You could make a case that, like I said, that this guy is even greater than Floyd Pacquiao. Like, literally, you could you could make a case. Because he's at such a disadvantage at heavyweight. And those guys are so much bigger. And, like, what you got to realise, like, Joshua's not... 
Joshua's a good fighter, but Fury's better than a good fighter. I mean, Fury's an no, elite. Fury, Fury's, Fury's, uh, you know, elite fighter. The thing is, the thing is, Usyk has to beat Fury to be the number one. It's as simple as that. Mm. You know, him fighting George Joyce and these guys, that, that you're not going to be classed as a number one. Mm. He has to beat Tyson Fury, and, that, and he knows that as well. What do you think Tyson Fury, I mean, what do you think about Tyson Fury saying? So would you say right now that, Can I mean, Canelo Alvarez, Crawford, I mean, are not, are not, on Usyk's level in at this minute, I would probably say Usyk one, Crawford two, and then because probably Canelo lost, probably Canelo three. Mm. To be honest, um, but would you? I say wouldn't put Canelo no lower than I wouldn't put Canelo lower than three. Yeah, um, just because he lost against Bivol because he 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 took a chance to be great. He's mm. not a hundred and seventy five pounder. He was well at a disadvantage. Do you think Canelo could be at number two ahead of Crawford, or maybe, do you think maybe maybe mm. you know maybe. Maybe so, maybe. But out of those three, so normally we're picking out of those three. Out of those three fighters, in your opinion, who's the best out of those three? Skill for skill. I mean, re including resume, the eye test, everything. Who do you think's the best out of those three? What well, from what I've seen so far? Yeah. Um, I would say. I would say Terence Crawford. Would you reckon? Yeah, I would, actually. But Salma, I, I, I think can't say Crawford. I'm talking about the eye test and the reason why I'm saying Terence. I can't, I can't say Crawford over Usyk. I just can't. Uh, Usyk has shown me magicianry skills, but Usyk's done it against much better calibre of opposition. Uh, and he's beaten the level of composition better as well. I, in my opinion, I, I don't think you can put Crawford ahead of Usyk. Just because the resume doesn't stand up, Salma. Like, who's his best win? Porter. Like, come on, you can't compare Porter to fighting an uh, Anthony Joshua, who was a massive heavyweight. Like, you know, yeah, and then he fought Bradis, he fought Glowacki, he fought, he saw, he fought Hunter, you know, he fought, uh, uh, what's his name? Bra I mean, Gassiev. You know, Gassiev's a monster puncher. I, I, nah, Salman, I, I can't put Crawford ahead of Alexander Usyk at this point. For me, and I'm a big Canelo fan, Salman, I'm a big Canelo fan. But for me, Usyk's the best fighter of this generation. I, I'm, I'm being serious. I, I think the eye test doesn't lie. Usyk is special. And if, like I said, if he beats Tyson Fury, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And I'm so glad that Usyk is starting to get the recognition because Usyk was being overlooked. Usyk was being overlooked. And I still think he's being overlooked. I still think he's being overlooked because people are not giving him a chance to beat Tyson Fury. I think he's being overlooked. I think... Canelo's probably got the best resume because he's got the best body of work and he's been doing it. He's got over 60 fights. But Salman, you tell me another fighter that's achieved what Alexander Usyk has in 20 fights. You tell me one fighter. Look at Crawford in 20 fights. What did he achieve? Look at uh, uh, Canelo in 20 fights. What did he achieve? In 20 fights, tell me another fighter that has accomplished as much as Alexander Usyk. Probably no one, to be honest. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I just, if you look at it, like, even against, if he fights Tyson Fury, like, it's not even about, you know, people overlooking him. It's just the fact that Tyson Fury, if he beats Tyson Fury, I'm sorry, but he has to be the best. Because Tyson Fury is a born fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, Joshua isn't a born fighter. He, he's not, let's be honest. You know, he started boxing at 20. This guy's been doing it since he's been five years old. Mm -hmm. Tyson Fury, he's a born bred fighter. You know, he ain't going to get knocked out against Usyk. We know that for a fact. The guy got up from Deontay Wilder in round 12 and really won that round after. So the only way Usyk can win is if he does, um, you know, he does, uh, he, he has to do magic. It, it'd have to be magic for him to win, in my opinion. Um, I'm just being honest. He would have to literally neutralise Fury. And Fury being that big and him having good feet work and stuff himself it'd have to be it'd be the greatest win of all time unless Fury just doesn't show up and he just let, lets him win I, I just can't see that one's a hard one for Usyk very hard and but Usyk, like Usyk, Usyk has proved Usyk's proved people wrong so many times I think it's yeah, hard so, so has Fury mm. um, this isn't this This is a guy that was written off against like you got to realise even Eddie Hearn was like that um Eddie but, Ann was like but, that Wilder would not Fury yeah, at twice. I, I, I agree well, with three that. Three times, actually. But Salman, uh, I'll, I'll say this. 
I don't think Tyson Fury has fought anyone as good as Alexander Usyk. Yeah, but it's not about Usyk. Yeah, if if Usyk was the same height and same stature, then yes. But you got to realize when you're fighting someone that like 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 Tyson Fury, it's it's different, man. It's different. He's, Tyson Fury isn't gonna worry about what's coming back. And I just don't think Usyk has enough to keep him off. Unfortunately, I don't know how. Usyk I think will again, win that Salman. Fight. That's what a lot of people are thinking. The way you're thinking. And that's when Alexander Usyk is going to show his class once again. I don't think so. I think Fury's got too much heart. He's got too much heart and I, I just can't see. The thing is, Salman, Usyk's, Usyk's, got, Usyk's in that, like, he's Salman, not, this, isn't, this isn't a guy that's going to... Usyk's got everything Fury's got, but Usyk's yeah, got... Yeah, but Usyk's he's smaller got, though. He's, he's smaller, smaller, he's smaller, but Usyk's a better boxer. He's overall well, a better... Yeah, his own weight, but I, I just don't... I, I can't he's see... Some man, he's faster than Fury. He's got better footwork than yeah, Fury. Yeah, but Fury's way faster than Joshua as well. Yeah, but he's faster he's than better, Joshua. He's got better footwork than Joshua. He's faster than Joshua. He's got better head movement than Joshua. But some man, really... against two. Against two. Against Wilder, where anyone can look good against Wilder. I mean... I, 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 I think... Journeymen have looked good against Wilder until he puts him out. But you, Usyk, realize... you don't look good against him. He's too good technically. You got to realize, like even against Joshua, it wasn't like Usyk wasn't getting hit. He was getting hit a lot, and he's gonna have to avoid that because the thing is, against these Fury top doesn't have like Fury. Fury doesn't have the concussive power like yeah, Joshua. But I just, I just think that you know Fury work his work rate will. The thing is, like the, a lot of people are like the thing is the way Fury fought against Dillian White, he isn't gonna fight like that against Usyk because he knows with Dillian White, Dillian White could actually punch. Usyk can't punch. There's, there, there's no way in hell. That Usyk can knock Fury out if he couldn't knock Joshua out or even knock down Joshua, right? Everyone knows Fury's chin and, you know, Fury's legs and stamina is 100 times better than a Joshua. You know, Joshua is, uh, you know, quite, for Usyk, it was stuck in the mud stuff. Whereas U Fury isn't going to be stuck in the mud stuff. It's going to be a lot harder for Usyk to get the jab off. And it's just going to be a lot harder to land on Fury as well because Fury's so big and he's... He he's elusive himself. Salman, I think I think you're overlooking Alexander Usyk. Like I said, I think if what I want to say is that if Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury, there is a case that he's the best fighter of the last thirty years. Yeah, but I've already said it. I, I'm saying he's the best heavyweight of all time if he beats Tyson Fury. Because the thing is, the disadvantages are too much this time. It's not like oh, you know, you know, Fury's. You know, not got good feet work. Fury's got a bit of, you know, Fury struggles. You know, he's got stamina issues. Then you can understand. But the thing is, Fury's got everything. You know, Fury's got everything to defeat Alexander Usyk. You know, I, the thing is, he just... With with Joshua, you know he can tire down the stretch. Is Fury going to tire down the stretch? Is Fury going to tire down the stretch? Well, what That's makes you think... What's you, what do you makes you think that Fury's going to put a dent in Alexander Usyk? I think he will because I just think that he'll, as, as I said, he'll know that, as he said, that, oh, I think this guy's middleweight and I'm going to absolutely destroy him. And I personally think he's just going to come straight at him and just show him no respect. Because I just don't feel that Fury thinks Alexander Usyk can hurt him. And I just think he'll fight a complete different fight to what he usually fights because he knows that, you know, I'm in there with a smaller guy, right? And, I, you know, he'll take a risk and he'll just go for him. I think. I don't think he's going to fight a conservative fight thinking that, you know, I'm going to fight on the back foot how I usually do. He's going to go head first. Oh, he's, gonna, he's just going to pressurise him. And I just personally think, because he's too small, I just think Fury will, Fury will do a job. And it'll be, and it's just too much weight as well. And Fury, and one thing we don't, we need to understand, Fury knows how to use that weight as well. He leans all over you and makes it dirty. Whereas Joshua, he didn't, he didn't really use his weight. It was just clean punches. So, I think Fury knows the game and Fury's IQ is a lot more higher than Joshua's. Joshua isn't as smart as someone like a Fury. Um, I think Fury's too smart. But let's see, if, if, if Alexander Usyk pulls this off, you have to say, forget the pound for pound. This guy's one of the greatest fighters of all time. You know, let alone, forget the pound for pound list. Mm. You know, he would have proven it, you know, against someone like Tyson Fury. You know, this isn't a guy that has any vulnerabilities, you know. What's Fury's vulnerabilities? Is Fury going to go down and not get be able to get back up? Is Fury, you know, is Fury tired? You know, it's like if he beats this guy, he's got to be something special. Mm. He's got to be something special. You know, to be honest, even if he loses this fight against Fury, that doesn't mean that Alexander Usyk's not a good fighter. It just means that Fury is just too big and too strong. That's mm. what it means. Um, because I don't think personally, if Alexander Usyk is 100% any other heavyweight beats him, 
right now. Mm. I'm sorry, but I don't. The only th guy I think that can beat Alexander Rusik is one guy, and his name's Tyson Fury. Mm. Leave your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.